Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 562. My name is Ajay Parmar and today we have this uh, the, the question on the MS axis and we want to see that how we can change the extension of the image from .png to .jpeg or anything I mean right. Now this video is in English obviously because my subscriber who commented who requested uh, this video uh, uh, she uh, can understand English so we are going to talk we are going to cover this entire thing in the English right so you're watching youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Pramar and if you want the Hindi, uh, videos in the Hindi please comment your questions uh, when you comment your questions when you uh, send your emails please mention there that you want the video in the Hindi so now before we go further and I quickly jump on to the question I this is the playlist sequence uh, my dear subscribers so you go and uh, take a note of it because this is exactly how you should follow the sequence this channel is dedicated to, to all those people who want to do extremely well in Excel Excel VBA MS Access and Access VBA and Outlook VBA right now let's go to the question so I got this uh, comment posted by Larry good job on your videos Ajay now I need some help I have an access database that has over 5000 records in the database there is a field called album art which contains the text name of the image .jpg being the extension and for each 5000 records have a different name that has the same .jpg extension added to each name now what I want to do in the access VBA is change the .jpg extension to .png extension and not change the name on all the 5000 records so larry actually uh, you know what uh, what uh, she's saying that when you go to this uh, uh, you know database so for example i open this employee database guys you see that we have got here some images abc.png ekta.png my.png smile.png now what we want to do is we want to change this extension we want to change this .png to .jpg or vice versa or anything be it anything so how you can do it now there are two ways of doing it guys the first thing which you can do is you can create the query in the front part and you can simply run the update query the second thing is that you can create the query and that query you can run in the back end also you have a choice you can further go and create the access macro as well so let's go and talk about first the query so I go to the query I click on the create and I then Go, uh, you know go to the query design this is how we create the query for those who do does not understand the access and if the, if you're looking for your career in the MIS analytics field then my dear friends my lovely subscribers you must know the access and the access VBA as well Excel Excel VBA are not just the tools which you would like to you know learn if you want to do extremely well in this analytics field you must have a database knowledge because if you learn the access further it will open the gates for you to learn the other databases also like for example the fabulous sql server it's 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 an amazing database and it's something you know i'm i'm today today you know when i when i'm uh, when when I have uploaded 500 plus videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access, Access VBA, I still feel that you know I crib that why I am not I haven't learned actually the SQL Server, right? So my plan is to learn the SQL Server differently. I want to learn it. it it's a very powerful database where MS Access fails, SQL Server comes into action. It comes to your rescue. Okay, so please plan this thing. Must do it. And when I will start learning it, I will also talk about this on my channel, right? Learning is a never ending process. You should never stop, you know, learning. It makes, it just does not boost your career, but otherwise also it makes you a good human being, intelligent human being, I guess so. So let's go and talk about this now. So I go and put the employee database here. Now guys, what I need to do is I simply want to, you know, put this uh, the image over here this is the image and you know if I just click on the run I get to see all my images here but this is something I do not need I come back to the design view I want to run on the update query because you want to update it what do you want to update it well in this update too you want to write the function which is which function you want to write now you know that in this in this particular thing you have all the extensions you know dot png dot png they have three characters so these three characters from the right side should be replaced with what whatever you want right so we can do one thing uh, we can simply go here in this uh, you know the query and we can say we can write here that uh, it's going to be right 
you, you can write the function right and then it shows you the string so what 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 is your string my string is image I can go and write here image and then comma right and now what I need I I need three characters right now when you if you go and run this okay what will happen basically this will let you this will give you what this is this will give you the three uh, the characters from the right side but it does not allow you to replace that so I think we should not go and you know just use this right function over here okay so what we can do is instead of this we can use the uh, replace function that would be much better so you go and replace this I go and use the replace function I thought it would work with the right function but no right function returns the three characters I want replace so I go and write the replace function when you replace it you know you have the string string means what is your string where is that value which you want to replace and that value comes from the image field so I just go and write the image find now you want to replace what you know what you want to find you want to find in the double quotes right uh, dot png and then what you want to replace it I want to replace it uh, with the dot uh, jpeg let's say put it within the double quotes and uh, it may look little difficult to you right now on the screen right though I am going to maximize it but still you can when you write this you know you can right click here and you can zoom it guys I'm not sure if you know this option but you can zoom it and that's how you know you can go from here and you can increase the font that's a good option you know given by Microsoft so you can maybe say that I want the 10 with the bold so this is how it looks like so my image is there put it within the square brackets that's a good habit you should put that field header name in the square brackets then what you want to replace that is dot png where in this image because this image will have the entire name including the extension and then you want to replace it with the dot jpeg and then comma and there is one more parameter which you know which was coming that uh, you know the start number so I'm just going to write here one okay I click okay now when you click okay let's quickly go and check that if it is going to work for us I click on the view data sheet view to check whether it is going to work or not now it says the expression you entered contains invalid text now I'm not sure actually what is wrong here but I can see here that dot jpeg is not written correct so I can click back on the zoom and I go here and I this dot actually should come before this dot jpg right this is how it is I think now we are good with that I click ok and I click on the view now if your view works then that means your query is good to go now why we use the view why we directly not you know use the run option because you do not want to run the update query uh, before cross checking whether it is going to work or not so click on the view that's kind of a the you know the query tells you if it shows you the you know these all uh, the images the field values it means that the update query is now going to work it, otherwise it will show you the error as you saw you know when I was uh, when I did not use this dot operator correctly so I go and run this command and now you're update you're about to update the five rows and I just click on the yes let's go back to the employee database and you can see here it has replaced all the you know images in simple one update query that is how it is that is how you know you can create this update query now if you want to run this query in the VBA then you can just do one thing you can go to the visual basic and here somewhere maybe go and insert the module it's very simple uh, then you can go and write here that sub so for example uh, update query and I just go and run this query now I have already created this query in the front end right so the next time when I want to run this I just go and save this query first uh, I'm not really really going to give it a name okay I just write here test okay test query test update for example okay now this query will replace what you know this query is going to replace the PNG with the JPG which it has already replaced so I'm going to do the reverse now I just simply uh, simply go to the design view and now I go here and I just go and change this to you know uh, yeah, so what I'm supposed to uh, find I'm, I'm supposed to find uh, let's go and check that database again I, I got here JPG okay that's perfect so so let's go and click on the design view before I run this I want to quickly change this dot uh, PNG now this should be my JPEG and this should be my dot PNG because right now 
this is how it should work okay i click here and i want to check whether the query runs the query runs i close this quickly now guys how you gonna you can run this from the vba you just go here and write here dcmd and then you're gonna write here open the query which query you want to run it is asking you for the name and you just go and write here update that's it now when i run this obviously you will connect this you know the vb code with your form button which i'm not covering here i'm just trying to tell you what what is going to happen now this is that you're about to run an update query that will you know modify in your table if you if you click yes then further you have the prompt coming you're about to update five records i click on the no because i have to tell you something these uh, these errors irritates sometimes you know a lot sorry for the little dis disturbance in the background if you're hearing uh, so let me quickly just finish this so whatever what I can do to avoid these you can write here uh, uh, your uh, this do cmd do cmd dot set warnings okay set warnings equals to you can see that false now when you when you do this thing what happens your you won't get any prompt and make sure before the end sub you put it back to the true otherwise by default it will always be on the false mode and maybe in the front part when you run the query you need it back so because warning is not always good i mean uh, showing them as false is not good because sometimes you really like to you know before you delete something you really want to see the message right now i go and run this now see this guys i'm just gonna hit here okay i hit here and you see that argument not optional all right so this is something i was <laughs> wasn't expecting i think uh, the equals to sign doesn't come anyways never mind i just click here and there we go the query ran there's no pop-up coming and you can see here you got it back to png guys wonderful right so this is the two methods i wanted to show you can create this maybe by running the query or maybe you can just create the button in the form you know you can go to the form uh, like you uh, let me show you this quickly you go to the form form design and you go and create a command button here and just create a command button over here and just you know align this macro uh, go to the this all uh, in the event the property sheet this is the property sheet you have to select this button and you just go in the on click event just go there and you know right here that what you want to do go to the code builder and here you can call that macro so this is how you can write that call update query when when you hit when you hit on this when you go to the view okay make sure you rename this right there update or submit or whatever when you click here what happens the query runs the query runs and it's gonna update it right so that's all guys this is all about the update query this is all about how you can change the extension of the field right uh, in two methods one is the vba and the second is the update query so i hope you have enjoyed this session i'll see you in my next video then thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.